Thank you for tuning into this episode of Erickson Presents Let's Talk Relations. And I didn't mess up, I almost, almost shot it out my other channel. But today, we're going to actually continue on this whole Derek Jackson thing. I know it's getting kind of played out, and I kind of wanted to wait because I don't want to really ride the coattail of it, but this actually is a interesting video. So this channel is The Body Language Guy, so we're going to react to his video, and he's going to pretty much talk about the body language um, of Derek Jackson as he was uh giving his spiel um i actually started watching this and then as i was watching it i thought to myself you know what this might be a good video to react to on the channel so i stopped so the very beginning i heard but then i didn't hear anything else after that so without further ado let's just hop on into the video okay cool hello and welcome back my body language bodies today in episode 26 the big question is is it possible to tell if your partner is a master manipulator just by their body language and to solve this riddle we will be looking at Derek Jackson's apology a relationship guru with more than 1 million followers on Instagram who preaches healing and okay I heard that he gained like 200,000 subscribers um, after this came out so obviously <laughs> his money ain't, his money wasn't affected. Um, once again, I don't have a problem with Derek Jackson. I don't really care to try to roast Derek Jackson. I just think this is interesting how he decided to uh, move forward with how he was going to handle the situation. That's that's really the only reason why I'm doing this. OK. And healthy relationships. And who confessed to having multiple affairs after fans uncovered his indiscretion? Speaking of body language, do I need to up my energy when I talk on these videos? Like sometimes I'm just talking. I'm just, you know, I'm just, I'm just chill. But every time I see people, I see people over the top. So maybe I should be over the top when I say the things that I say. I don't know. What y'all think? First of all, I hope women don't learn this, this technique because they'll, they're going to be... <laughs> Could you imagine trying to have a conversation with a woman who is an expert at body language? Oh my goodness. All right, Mr. Body Language Guy. Online gossip about Jackson's affairs began appearing in early March. This week, Candace Medeiros claimed to have had an affair with Jackson after he allegedly told her that he and his wife were separated. The Medeiros claimed that she and Jackson texted through the summer of 2020, spent his birthday together and slept in the bed that he shares with his wife, These Denea the Jackson, who also appears in the video. <laughs> Fans have been addressing the possibility that Jackson has been manipulating his wife, especially after watching this apology video. Um, but now that it's been made so public, um, it's important that I first off let you guys know I do not stand by those actions. I don't want to encourage anybody to do that. Now, it Why does she keep doing this? It's like she's, is she, it, it feels like she's, she's trying to tell herself I'm going to be okay. Or it could be, I'm not about to blow my top. I don't know what that is because she is. Okay. It's absolute fact that the first thing you're going to see are the faces. We're pre-programmed to look at faces and spot emotions and micro expressions to communicate faster than words. One of the best tips that I can give you for any body language analysis is to pay attention to the very first or very last frames of a video. That way you can spot those moments where people think that they're not being seen or if they are faking emotions. They haven't put their mask on yet. When it happens at the end of a video, they think that they can get the mask out already and you can catch a glimpse of their true emotions. What's going on guys? Derek Jackson here. What's going on guys? Derek Jackson here. In this case, you can see both his face right at the start of the video, in the first couple of frames, and then his face throughout the rest of the apology. Notice that there is a strong difference in expression between them. The first one is emotionless, and the second one wants to convey sadness. <laughs> Are y'all with me here? Okay. Yeah, the first one... In just looking at the, the screenshots that he has, the first one is like, I'm about to get away with some bullshit. And the second one is like, I hope you guys believe me. Okay, 
I get okay. Okay. But for Danea, this is a moment where one might want to show their best self and to show that they are a strong marriage and they have survived the cheating and they're ready to push through it. But at first sight, her eyes look empty with a total lack of energy and just a tang of anger. Some people have mentioned the bonnet that she's wearing and that could mean that she cap. just didn't bother <laughs> to do her hair that morning. And that's just fine. But the problem is when you start to stack signals one after another. Another. Because wearing a bonnet or any kind of hat in this situation is a way to feel protected, that you feel vulnerable and defensive. The black sweat. Okay. 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 I can see that. I can see that. Like, okay. I used to perform, and when I would perform songs, I would have sunglasses on. And in a way, those sunglasses disconnected me from the audience when I was nervous. So, okay, I can see that. The sweater that she's wearing is something that she has worn in the past, but the color projects being adamant and not open to any suggestions, like she's trying to defend her own decisions and her husband's. By the way, Jackson chose a purple sweater, being purple a color that usually symbolizes wisdom and loyalty. Notice that even if his arm is bigger and longer than hers, he keeps it behind her arm, making a very uncomfortable position for her. It's like he's hiding behind so as not to be exposed to the public. Oh. <laughs> okay. Today I am joined by my lovely wife, Danea. Did you spot that? When he says, my lovely wife, he caresses his own finger. This is really odd, because even if it's normal that when someone feels anxious, they fiddle with their fingers, in this case, he has his wife's hands in his. So it would make sense to do that fiddling or that micro-touching on her fingers. But instead, he touches himself. My lovely wife, Danea, and we just wanted to address a couple of things. Mm. I better smile. I better smile. Oh. As he announces Danea, she does a close smile with no energy whatsoever, looks at him and as she pulls her eyes away from him, she presses her lips. That is a sign of frustration and possible hidden anger. Oh my god. I never, I, I didn't get this far. Okay. Well y'all, hey, y'all seeing it firsthand. Okay. Okay. Right after that, she tilts her head in the opposite direction, away from him. She tries to keep a smile, but you don't need to be a body language analyst to read the wariness of her expression. And I remember I was with my friend and her mom was like trying to crack jokes on me. And I just did this because my face started itching and I did this and they were like, oh, 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 I subconsciously did that because I wasn't I didn't even think that I did it. But when I scratched my face with with this finger, it just did it like that was an involuntary movement of my body. That's funny. Uh, it's crazy. I guess it is possible that your body is going to react the way you actually feel, even though you're trying to hold it back. OK. And we just wanted to address a couple of things. You He says that he just wants to address a couple things, but at the same time, he says no with his head. So that's a body language contradiction that points that he really did not want to address this. You know, no, he did not. We understand that some of you may have already heard, maybe not. Um... Bro, I hope, I hope to God that this never happens to me one day where someone literally breaks down what I'm doing. I, oh, please don't ever let this happen. In fact, almost right after that, he lowers his gaze. That is a common sign of shame, followed by a very quick smirk when he says that some of the audience could have heard about what was going on. Now, the eyes down in shame and the smirk are two very different facial expressions with vastly different meanings. When you spot these subtle clues, you have a hint that there's an emotional contradiction inside. Sometimes when a cheater is caught, they could express both shame because they were caught, 
but at the same time pride because they did what they did. But what kind of personality is capable of showing pride when they are exposed to the public? That's right. Narcissists. The narcissistic manipulator enjoys both the process of not being caught and, to some extent, being proud when caught. So that's mm. a body language clue that tells us that Derek Jackson could be a narcissist. Okay, I don't know if this guy is real or what he's saying is true or not, but it's not hard to believe. But, you know, a lot has been said already about what was the cause and all that other stuff. Some of it is true, some of it is completely false. Stuff. Some of it is true, some of it is completely false. Right after he says completely false, he presses his lips, which is a clue of frustration or covert anger. He shows that he's angry at false claims about what has happened. But the truth is, and I'm saying it here now, is that Derek Jackson was involved with other women. Derek Jackson was involved with other women. There's a lot to discuss about these clips, but there's one thing that is particularly interesting. Derek's repeated use of the third person when... The I was just about to say that. Like, what the f... What? Really? I've never... It's weird to even hear my name, but I've never just... Uh, it feels to me like he... I think, in my, like in my last video, like he's put himself in a place of, of hierarchy. And all you women, all of you who have been reading his books, who've been retweeting and reposting his videos, <laughs> shaking your head. Dang, did you notice when I started talking about women, how my head started doing? Yo, yo, this body language thing is a thing. Maybe I should start looking into it. But point is, point is, point is, jokes aside, this guy clearly, clearly feels like everyone should just listen to what he says and not follow what he does and discussing his own actions. This might seem like a quirk, but it's really common. Some of these fans commented their own experience with cheating partners as they spoke about themselves in the third person, hmm. claiming that this is a red flag. Well, think about this. When admitting to an affair, people will sometimes use the third person as a way to detach themselves from the transgression. People who refer to themselves in the third person do so because they don't want to take responsibility for what they are saying. He simply mm. won't admit or say, yes, I made a mistake. He's attempting to separate himself from his misbehavior. Um, I feel like that was a reach, but I could be wrong. I just think that... Hmm. I don't know. I feel like uh, I feel like that was a reach. But what do I know? Instead of owning it by using the word I, he talks like he was a character and he's telling a story. It's common to combine these statements with sentences like that isn't who I am or I'm a different person now. I've changed. Outside the marriage. And by involved, I want to be clear. I'm not talking about just you see how she like Dang, it's almost like she, like he drugged her up, but she's just like, <laughs> casually kicking it, maybe a lunch or something like that. I'm talking about casually kicking it, maybe a lunch or something like that. I'm talking about. She shook her head no. Notice that when he's about to say what he actually did with those women, she lowers her gaze slowly. She feels ashamed at that point. She hasn't overcome that episode yet. Let's see if you can spot Jackson's microexpression in the next clip. I've already told her literally everything. I've given her basically a, a roll call list. If I've said hello to a woman in the last 12 years of me knowing her, she knows about it. A roll call list. If I've said hello to a woman in the last 12 years of me knowing her, I don't know what I'm looking her, for. Knows. I don't know what I'm looking for. What are we looking for, y'all? About it. Right, just, just give yes, it to us. Yes, he's remembering because his eyes drifted to his left, his memory side. But at the same time, he had a micro expression of duping the light. He tries to appear concerned and sad, but just for a fraction of a second, his true feelings show before going back to emotion control. Um, and now we're finally getting on to the other side. Um, and now we're finally getting on to the other side. Man, why did he bring her on? He didn't, he didn't need to bring her. She didn't, have to, she didn't have nothing to do with this. Notice that when Jackson says that they're finally getting on to the other side, he touches his own finger again and she averts her eyes away. 
They are absolutely not getting through it. He's nervous. He doesn't believe what he is saying and she notices it and feels ashamed. Now let's listen to two clips of Denea and let's see if you can spot a difference. Yo, this is like a game. All right, look, y'all, we got to put our thinking claps, claps. We got to put our thinking caps on because goodness gracious, I'm missing all of it. So I do want to just add that I agree with what he just said. There is no justification for bringing other women into our marriage on any level. Certain aspects of this type of situation, but that does not define who you are. You don't have to stay in bondage to that. You don't have to stay with bitter roots. That yeah, she sounds far more confident when speaking alone. Her words are better connected, better voice tone, and yeah, a totally nervous. different attitude. That tells you that she didn't want to be there when... I mean, the one thing that I would say that is can can also be added into this is the simple fact that you know millions and millions and millions of people are going to see this and you know news outlets are going to retreat it we tweet retreat we <laughs> retweet it and you also know that there's going to be memes made every little thing that you do you know is going to get scrutinized to the fullest so if I'm going to be talking in a situation like this, I'm going to feel nervous. That energy might be coming from the place of, oh, my God, this is going to this might either make us or break us. And it's most likely going to the internet that nobody can be, defeat the Internet. No one. So I don't know. I feel like that energy could be coming from there, too. When Jackson was doing his apology. Now watch her eye movements on this clip. And when I, I've been flooded again with messages and these things and about, you know, I need to leave or why haven't I left? And the answer is, when I found out about it, I left. I did not hesitate or waste time to do so. When I found out about it, I left. I did not hesitate or waste time to do so. Look how interesting is that when she says that she found out about Jackson's infidelity and she left, her eyes drift to her left side. Remember that the left side is, is our memory or recalling side, oh, okay. and our right side is the creative one. Okay, so if you look into the left, you remembering something. If you look into the right, you making up something. Okay, I'm gonna start trying to remember that and pay attention. In this case, she's talking about a memory, and her eyes drift to the corresponding memory side. That's when your words and your body language, in this case, your facial expressions, are in sync. So we can assume that what she just said is the truth. Yeah. Also, she shows a... I just thought about something, and as I thought about it, I looked to the left. Okay. Micro expression of surprise, which is another clue that upon recalling that situation, she was actually taken by surprise. She recalls it, and the feeling is still fresh in her memory, so she repeats the corresponding emotion. This is similar when someone recalls a sad moment of their lives and they show a micro expression of sadness. That tells you that emotion is still fresh or the emotional wound hasn't healed. I like this and they guy. still manifest it when talking about the subject. So that's why it's so important to pay attention when someone says that they are okay and have already overcome the experience. But they Fellas, we got the answer now. <laughs> when your woman says she's fine, ask her some questions and then figure out what her body language is doing. We'll know. I mean, we still gonna walk away, but we know that you really ain't fine. I mean, I mean, we know that you ain't fine, but we really know that you ain't fine. We're still gonna walk away because your ass said it. Don't say it if you don't mean it. That's all I'm trying to say. I don't even know how I even got there, but whatever. They show traces that the topic still affects them. If you spot these signals, you know that you should show extra empathy for them. You're not expecting that people will tell you how they actually feel, and you not need to, because you have already read their body language. So you just show them your support. And for those who are going to continue to support, man, I appreciate you like never before because I know it's not going to be easy going forward, it's at least for a little while, while so many things are still fresh and attached to my name. Okay, what does the shoulder mean? I don't know. I mean, this is complicated. You got to take a course just to watch the video. Okay. When he talks about his supporters, 
how worried he is about going forward. He mentions so many things fresh and still attached to his name. An apology should never be about what are the consequences for you. You are talking to take full responsibility about something that you did. And still, here he is absolutely concerned about how his name was tarnished by this. He is really concerned about it because that's when he displays many emotional reaction signals. Two single shoulder shrugs, rapid blinking, he even closes his eyes for half a second. When you okay, we're going to end it there. There's about eight more minutes left in the video, so I will link that video in the description. But what do you guys think? Do you think that he's full of ish? Because I do. <laughs> I clearly do. Um, but, I mean, I have friends who I would say is full of ish at times the same way he's full of ish at times. And I wouldn't do all of this to try to bust him out. So just understand the only reason why I am doing this is simply because apparently he's been going in on everybody and now he's fair game. So it is what it is. All right. I will catch you guys in the next one. Leave a thumbs up comment. What do y'all think? Y'all think he's full of it? Do you think this guy knows what he's talking about? I don't know. So far, so good. I think he does, though. All right, I'll catch y'all in the next one.